Minister, there was a report in the Sunday Business Post recently which found that over the past five years, state spending has increased by around 50%. I'm just wondering, uh, uh, would you agree with their observation that there hasn't really been a lot of discussion around that massive ballooning in state expenditure? And do you think we're getting value for money with that kind of massive increase? Are things getting 50% better when it comes to public services, for example? But the reason we've seen such an increase in government expenditure is because uh, we've also seen a population that is growing and growing. And we've seen many additional needs that have developed, particularly within our health services, both during and after a pandemic. Uh, we have seen an increase in that expenditure, uh, but at the same time we have pulled back from all of the major spending programmes that were in place during the pandemic, uh, and also from some of them during the real big cost of living challenges that we have had. And while we have increased government expenditure, uh, we have seen tax receipts grow ahead of that, and we are now one of the very, very few countries in Europe that has a budget circuit and a budget surplus of the scale that we have, which for last year alone was uh, uh, well over €8 billion. Euro. So yes, government expenditure has gone up. It's gone up to respond to new and different things that have happened in our society. It's gone up because we need to build more homes, because we have a growing population, and we have a lot that we need to invest in. Um, do I believe the benefits have increased in line with the rate of expenditure growth? Um, I appreciate for many that it might not feel like that. I recognise that. Um, but at the same time, we're building more homes. Uh, we've got a bigger state in terms of the number of public servants, the number of nurses, doctors and teachers that we have. And they are all, I do, do know, do really, really valuable work in looking after and supporting our society. What would you say possibly to somebody who looked at the fact that we have, as you said, increased our health expenditure by billions over the last number of years, uh, our, our spending on housing has increased by billions, and obviously there's many homes being built, and yet house prices continue to rise, people don't feel like they're getting a better experience uh, when they go to the hospital, many of them, and that people might argue that this is not value for money effectively. Would you have a response to somebody yeah, who had that I would view? say to those that this is one of the few countries in Europe in which waiting lists for main procedures in our hospitals uh, have now fallen and are about to fall for two years in a row. It's a country that over the last number of years you've seen the, your health outcomes after you've had a major sickness or a health incident significantly improve over the last decade. And it's a country in which uh, life expectancy is now at one of the highest levels within the European Union. And all of those successes are not entirely due uh, to success of governments. But public policy and increasing government expenditure has played a big part in those health outcomes. And uh, while I know and am keenly aware that lack of housing and lack of affordable homes have such a big effect on our economy and on our society, uh, this is also uh, a country that is one of the few now in Europe that has seen housing supply go up per head of population. And uh, that is of cold comfort to those who are worried about whether they're going to have a home in a year's time. Uh, but maintaining that progress is the way which will give that homeowner or future homeowner the best chance of owning a home.